Have you ever wondered about the mysterious face that seems to grace the moon's surface? In today's captivating video, we embark on an extraordinary journey to uncover the enigma of the man in the moon. Join us as we explore the captivating world of lunar geology and discover the fascinating processes behind the moon's peculiar features. Buckle up for an exhilarating lunar adventure. Oh, and before we dive in, let me tell you, why did the moon go to therapy? Because it felt a little, spacey. Alright, now let's get started. Have you ever wondered why the moon seems to have a face when you look up at it? Well, over billions of years, a series of cosmic events shaped the moon's iconic appearance. Astonishingly, asteroid impact craters and volcanic eruptions played a crucial role in giving the moon its unique face. Lava from these eruptions filled lunar craters and solidified into dark volcanic rock, creating distinct features that make the moon stand out. What's fascinating is that these lunar characteristics have endured through time due to the absence of an atmosphere and plate tectonics, which could have otherwise altered or erased the moon's ancient geological traits. Ya Hui Hu Wang, a planetary scientist at MIT, has dedicated her research to studying lunar craters and unraveling the mysteries behind the moon's captivating face. According to Huang, the asteroids and fragments in the early history of the solar system were significant due to planet-forming events. The moon formed approximately 4.4 billion years ago. Shortly after a colossal protoplanet named Thea collided with the young Earth, resulting in the formation of the moon. It was during this celestial event that the moon began its transformation and acquired its distinctive features. John Fairweather, a doctoral student in the School of Earth and Planetary Sciences at Curtin University, explains that during this period, the orbits of major planets, asteroid belts, and planetary rings were still unstable. Rocks and materials were being pulled and pushed in various directions around the Sun, causing the Moon's surface to be bombarded and scarred. The early solar system's unstable orbits meant that gravity was flinging objects in all directions. As a result, smaller objects such as asteroids and tiny planets bombarded the moon and other bodies within the solar system, leaving their imprints behind. The moon experienced varying levels of asteroid collisions throughout its existence, with the most intense bombardment occurring during the first billion to 100 million years. However, approximately 900 million years ago, the frequency of impacts gradually decreased. As the objects in the solar system stabilized, their orbits becoming less erratic. But the moon's intriguing features don't stop at craters alone. In its youthful and temperamental years, between 4.1 billion and 3 billion years ago, volcanoes erupted on the moon's surface. As lava oozed into massive craters, it formed, Maria, which is the Latin word for, ocean. These maria appeared darker than their surroundings due to the hardening of lava into dark volcanic rock, such as basalt. Interestingly, the Maria took on rounded shapes that vaguely resemble a human face. Hu Wang explains that the moon's most distinguishable feature, its face, is a result of the striking contrast between the dark Maria and the bright highland regions. These Maria were formed by massive basins flooded by episodes of volcanic eruptions, creating the moon's facial characteristics. The moon still bears the remnants of these colossal collisions, such as the South Pole Aitken Basin which is the oldest impact crater on the moon with a diameter of 1550 miles 2500 kilometers these craters resemble a multitude of lunar eyes when viewed from a distance huang also suggests that the umbrium basin the second largest on the moon contributes to its distinctive face now let's take a moment to appreciate earth's geological wonders Unlike the moon, our planet's atmosphere and plate tectonics constantly reshape its surface over time. Atmospheric weathering gradually erodes rock formations, and tectonic plates continuously shift, fracture, and slide. As a result, craters on Earth tend to deform or disappear. However, there are a few special places on Earth known as cratons, which are sections of our planet's first continents that have survived the forces of plate tectonics and still bear the scars of ancient craters. The upcoming Artemis missions hold the promise of shedding more light on the moon's otherworldly appearance. While wind erosion doesn't affect rocks on the moon, the presence of water ice might have played a role in shaping the craters that resemble its facial features when the water was in liquid form. Speaking of lunar mysteries, did you hear about the astronaut who stepped on gum on the moon? He got stuck in orbit. 
All right, let's get back on track. Fairweather suggests that the next set of lunar missions could offer valuable insights into the possible interactions between water and moon rocks. These missions might bring us closer to unraveling the secrets behind the moon's captivating appearance. So why do we see a face on the moon? It's all about pareidolia, a phenomenon where our minds perceive images that aren't actually there. Just like when someone thought they saw Mother Theresa's face in a cinnamon bun. Pareidolia occurs when our brains find familiar patterns, and the man in the moon is one of the most famous examples of this fascinating phenomenon. And that wraps up our incredible journey into the origins of the man in the moon. We've explored the cosmic processes that contributed to its iconic appearance, from asteroid impacts to volcanic eruptions. Next time you gaze at the moon, remember that its face tells a story billions of years in the making. We hope you enjoyed this captivating video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awe inspiring space content. And hey, let us know in the comments below which celestial mystery you'd like us to uncover next. Until then, keep your eyes on the sky.